sit in any comfortable place. Sit in any comfortable position. Hands in Dhyana Mudra. Spine erect. Relax your shoulder. Relax your neck. Close your eyes. Take a normal breathing. Normal breathing down. Take a deep breathing. Deep breathe out. Now inhale and while exhaling, Omkar three times. Join your palm for prayer. Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Tarvavahe Tejasvinam Aditamastu Namigvishavahe Om Shanti 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 First, we we'll start with Nauli. This is our core strength strengthening series. So, this is the one of the kriya of shat shat karma is Nauli. So, we'll start with that. Okay. For we Nauli, inhale first, exhale fully. After that, you don't inhale. Only flap your tummy in and out. Okay, as much as possible because we are doing it after exhalation. So it is not possible to do it for a longer period. So do it as much as possible. Then again inhale, exhale again and start doing it. We will do it for one minute. Okay, I will put the timer on. First I will show you and then you start. Inhale, exhale and now Without inhaling, flap your tummy in and out. This is one of the three of Shat Karma, now only to strengthen our core muscles. It gives a massage to our internal organs. Inhale. Start. This Kriya, Nauli Kriya is very good. It improves our digestive system. It activates our pancreas because we are doing it after exhalation. So there is no air in between and we are deep flapping our tummy. So it gives the massage to our internal organs. Okay? So regular doing it on empty stomach gives us lots of benefits. So today we'll do some basic movements, but in dynamic. We, we will do all the movements for one chant. So lie down on your back. 
first we'll do cycling i will show you and then i'll put the chant on we can do raise your leg both the legs up and start cycling movement this is also very good for our core strengthening all your attention uh, to your core muscles at your belly button one chant cycling movement start very good start doing deepa ji jayanti ji take your knees as much as possible towards your chest doing cycling take them towards your chest more as much as possible reverse cycling reverse relax bring your both the legs together and slowly down slowly down very good deepa ji nice now bring your feet together toes together heel together hands palm facing downward now raise your both the legs to 30 degree i will tell you when to raise the more so that time you can raise your both the legs to 30 degree stay there stay there 30 degree very good concentrate at your belly button 60 deg 45 degree raise your legs to 45 degree 60 degree Ninety degree. Very good. Look at your toe fingers. Look at your toe fingers. Sixty degree again. Forty five degree. Knee straight, Pradeep ji. Knee straight. Thirty degree. And slowly. down very good now raise your both the like uh, hands above your hand inhale exhaling come up and touch your toe finger again go down inhale exhaling up touch your toe fingers okay continuously for one moment hridayatma paschimottanasan start Go back, exhaling, come up and touch your toe finger. Very good. Relax. Relax. Lie down and come into Pavana Mukta Asan position. Pavana Mukta Asan. Raise your legs to ninety degree. Fold the legs. Hold it and then. start doing dynamic movement up and down up and down okay for the start very good pradeep ji nice um gayatri ji hold leg from above not on the thighs yes hold good jayanti ji relax very good now come into prone position on your stomach you'll do dhanurasana hold your both the 
legs at ankle. Inhale, first coming to Dhanurasan position and go up and down. Do not bend your head, but from your stomach, go up and down, up and down. Okay. Dhanurasan. Dynamic movement in Dhanurasan. Bend your both the legs. Hold it at your ankle. Inhale and come up. Inhale, come up. Very good. And go up and down. Relax. Coming to Marjorasan. We'll do Marjorasan. Coming into Marjorasan position, you have to be careful about your position. Your palm should be under your shoulder. Knees to hip should be perpendicular. First come in this position properly. Then inhale, exhaling down. Inhale. We'll do this for one chant and inhale one leg up inhaling up exhaling head to the knee inhale up exhale head to the knee one chant first marjarasa only head up head down very good we are given nice arc to your back inhale up exhaling down inhale up Exhaling down. Very good. Now inhale. Head and one leg up. Head and one leg up. Exhaling. Head to the knee. Exhaling. Head to the knee. Inhale up. Head also up. Dipaji. Head also up. Inhale up. Exhale. Head to the knee. Very good. Other side, other leg. Relax. Now coming to sitting position. Feet together, toes together, heel together. Sit, spine erect. Hold the row, we'll do Nauka Chalasan. Inhale, exhaling forward. Inhale, go back as much as possible. Exhale forward. Clockwise, anti clockwise. Nauka Chalasana. Here you can bend your elbow while going back. Inhaling, go back. Concentrate on your breathing also. Inhale, go back. Exhaling, come forward. Now, reverse position. Reverse. Inhale, go back, exhaling forward. Go back as much as possible, like reading. Now spread your leg. Spread your leg. As much as Interlock your hands. Now here, without bending your elbow. Without bending your elbow, inhale, go back. Exhaling, try to touch your both the toe fingers. Inhale, go back. Exhaling, come forward. Chakti Chalasan. Toe finger pointing to the ceiling, knee inside, down. 
without bending your elbow go back as much as possible exhaling come forward reverse rotation good okay reverse very good Relax. Now come into standing position. Stand. Feet together, toes together. And raise your one hand up, bend sideways, down. Inhale up, exhaling, bend. Inhale up, exhaling, bend. Start feet together, toes together. Very good. Now, one feet distance between the leg. Interlock your hands. Inhale up. Exhaling, bend. Inhale up. Exhaling, bend. Down. Now, raise your hands up to your shoulder height. Inhale, go back, Vakrasana, exhaling forward. Inhale, go back, exhaling forward. Relax. Relax your legs. Relax your hand. Kick your legs, relax for a while, and then we'll do Surya Namaskar. Every position, one chant. Okay, two Surya Namaskar on chant. Come in front of the mat. Roll back your shoulder. Namaskar Stiti. Chest up, stern up, stand tall. Om Ram Vidu Rai Raudam Mitra Ravi Surya Bhanu Pagavushana Hiranya Garbha Marichi Aditya Savitru Arta Bhaskari Dhyo Namu Namu Inhale up. Raise your both the hands. Keep your head in between your hands. And go back from your hip. Exhaling, bend forward. With every exhalation, try to go down inch by inch. If you can't touch the floor, hold your hands, exhale and go down. Work on this position. Exhaling, go down as much as possible. Now take your right leg back. Ashwa Sanchana position and push this high towards your leg like this. Push this as much as possible. Ashwa Sanchana and feel the stretch. Looking front. Good. 
Both the legs back. We stay here in Samtola, Samtola sign. Head to toes, slanting pose. Head to toes, slanting. Deepaji, lifting more up, not down. Lifting up, 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 up. Yes, very good. Stay here. Pull your tummy in. Squeeze your buttocks. Knees, chest, and chin on the mat. Ashtangasana. Back of the feet on the floor. Inhale and come up. Come up. Bhujangasana. Shoulder down, shoulder back, chest open. Do not lock your shoulder, do not lock your chest. Shoulder should be down, shoulder back and chest open. Now exhaling, coming to Parvatasana. Feet on the floor, try to keep your feet on the floor. Hands in between your so head in between your hands. Complete inverted V shape. Complete inverted V shape. Those who can't touch the floor completely, they can try like this. Can do this movement, right? Try to keep the feet on the floor. Give a nice stretch. Now inhale and right leg forward, Ashwa Sanchala. Push this thigh towards the leg and feel the spread. Other leg forward, Uttanasana, again here, use your exhalation and try to go down. Those who can touch the floor can hold the leg from behind and push yourself towards the leg as much as possible. Inhale, go back. Head between your hands and go back from your hip. Pranamasan. In the hands, attach pranamasas, stay here for one chant. We'll do second round, but this time I'm not going to do it, and I will see how you both all are doing. Second correctly. Now inhale again, go back. Very good. Do not hold your breath. Breathe continuously. Do not hold here. Exhale and bend forward. Very good. Use your exhalation. Exhale and go down, reach by Very good. Now take your left leg back, Ashwa Sanchalana. Dupaji, push, push your thighs towards the leg. Push, yeah. Feel the stretch, feel the difference. Very good. Look in front.
Nice. Other leg backwards, samtola, samtolasan, plank pose. Pull your tummy in, squeeze your buttocks, look down. Head to toes, slanting pose. Nice. Knees, chest, chin on the mat. Ashtanga, sir. Very good. Go down. Nice. Back of the feet on the floor, inhale and push yourself upward. Shoulder down, don't lock your shoulder. Shoulder down, shoulder back, chest open. Very good. It's okay to bend your elbow. The shoulder should be open. Shoulder, uh, chest open, shoulder back. Exhale. Going to Peru, complete inverted V shape. Take your hips towards the ceiling as much as possible. Very good. Keep your head in between your hands. Pull your hamstring up. Pull your quads up. Very good. Take your left leg forward. Ashwa Sanchala. No. That would you push your thigh towards your leg. Other leg forward, Uttanasan. Again, work on the position. Try to go down. Push yourselves towards the leg. Very good, Pradipji. Try, 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 try. Go down. Try, try to touch. Very good. Inhale up. Go back. Namaskastiti, stay here, stand tall, stand tall, shoulder back, chest up. Relax. Lie down, Shavasana, for a minute. Lie down. Feet apart. Hands by the side, palm facing upward. Concentrate on your breathing. With every in inhalation, tell yourself, I'm strong and healthy. Exhaling and relax. Inhale. I'm strong and healthy. Exhale and relax.
bring your feet together stretch your hand above the head stretch your feet downwards stretch yourself completely stretch 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 stretch, stretch and relax now we'll do some asanas in supine position first see elbow to palm on the floor come up and keep your elbow to palm on the floor see that your elbow is perpendicular to your shoulder should not keep like this or like this okay keep the elbow under your shoulder correctly palm facing downward feet together toes together look at your toe finger and slowly raise your legs up to your eye level toe finger should be your up at your eye level look at your toe finger but your concentration should be at your belly button be aware breathe normally don't hold your breath stay here for one chant knee straight dipaji knee straight feet together toes together come up up look at your toe finger very good nice pradeep ji the all stress come at your core muscles at your belly button be aware of that slowly down this is a variation of navasana now we do navasana position go down hands palm facing downward side of your body feet together toes together heel together now come up few inches above the floor and stay here or concentration at your belly button only few inches above the floor feet together toes together hands by the side palm facing downward and come come up little sit out the floor very good nice dipaji good dipa lila lila sorry lila down down very good now we'll do pavana muktasan first with one leg okay raise your legs to 90 degree fold the leg hold it completely near your chest and raise your head up one chant then another leg one chant and then both the legs up fold fold and nose in between the knees while releasing leg up 90 degree and then slowly down because bringing your legs down slowly down also works on your core muscles the more strength in core muscle the more slowly you will go down the core muscles controls our movement so raise your left leg up bend it towards your chest hold it from above from above yes remember good raise your head up towards your if you have a neck problem then you can keep your neck on the floor otherwise raise your head towards your knee very good raise the leg to 90 degrees slowly down other leg up bend raise your legs to 90 degrees slowly down now raise your both the legs up keeping the feet together bend the leg hold it nose in between the knees raise your 
raise the legs to 90 degree and try to bring it slowly down. Slowly down. Very good. Nice. Good. Now we'll do Ananda Balasan. Same as Pavana Muktasan, but see carefully. Same as Pavana Muktasan. Raise your legs to 90 degree. Then bend. Bring your thighs towards your chest. Keeping your toe finger to knee perpendicular. You can hold your both the toe finger and do like this. Or if you can't, then hold at your thighs. Bring it near your chest and keep. But knee should be together. Then should not be distance between the knee. Knee should be together and bring it down towards your chest. Okay. Ananda Balasan, one chant. If you can't hold that toe finger, Pradeep ji, hold it at your thighs, yeah, and bring it. And toe, knee to toe should be perpendicular. Stay there, stay there. Knees together, uh, Gayatri ji. Yeah, and bring the thighs. Hold your thighs. Hold your thighs and try to bring the down. Very good. Good. Raise your legs to 90 degree and slowly down. Relax for a minute. Feet together, toes together, heel together. Hands by the side, palm facing downward. We'll do Uttanasa from one child. Raise your both the legs to 90 degree. And look at your toe finger. Raise your both the legs to 90 degree. All your concentration at your belly button. Pull your tummy in. But breathe normally. Do not hold your breath. Breathe normally. All concentration at your belly button. Uttanasana. Rina ji, try to keep your hands on the floor. It is little intense, but work on it. Look at your toe finger. Knee straight. Concentrate at your belly button. Slowly down. Very nice. Good. Slowly down. Now come into prone position. Come into Parvatasan position. First sitting, Vajrasan. Then bring your hands down. Feet together, toes together. Raise your knees up. Sit on the floor completely and then raise your one leg up. Eka Pada Parvatasana. Stay here for one child. Then other leg up. Stay here for one child. Eka Pada Parvatasana. Good. Now raise your left leg up. Very good. Okay. Concentrate at your belly button. Do not hold your breath. Breathe normally. Down, other leg up.
other leg up. Very good. Done. Chaturanga Dandasan. Now from here, Parvatasan position. Now, go down. Palm on the floor. Go down up till this. Chaturanga Dandasan. If you can't go down, you can't hold like this. You can keep your elbow to palm on the floor and raise your torso up. Only up to your height of your feet. But first try, try like this, come in this position and try like this. If you can't, then go down and raise elbow to power on the floor. Very good. Nice. Go down, go down, the credit. Yes, very good. Hip little down, Arina Ji. Hip little down. Yes. Yes. Stay here. Down. Chaturanga Dandasan. Now coming to Vyakrasan um, position. Hands under your shoulder. Knees under your <coughs> first come into this position properly then raise your one hand up opposite leg right hand and left leg up stay here for one time Vyadrasan then other leg up stay here stay here for one time first come properly into the position See that your palms are under the shoulder? Rina, yes, bring it back. Yes, very good. Keep under the hip and knee perpendicular to the floor. Okay, now raise your right hand and left leg up. Stretch it as if someone is pulling from you both the side. Stretch completely. Breathe normally. Vyabhrasan. Other side. Now your left hand and right leg up. Down. Lie down in Makarasan for a minute. Go down. Fold your hands, both the hands and relax here for a minute. And then we'll come into standing position. We'll do some 90-50 positions. So, sitting positions and then standing. Now slowly coming to sitting position. Sit with feet together, toes together, straight. Both the hands near your hip. Both the hands near your hip. Concentrate at your belly button and raise yourself up. Raise yourself up. Stay here. Stay here for one chant. Okay. Dandasan. You can go up like this or you can keep your full power on the floor and go up. But don't like don't, this, this is the incorrect position. 
Your hand should be near your hip. Spine erect and go up. One chant. Raise yourself up. See the stress stretch to come up your stomach. Don't lean back. Very good. Down. Now sit in Padmasan or Adda Padmasan. Whatever comfortable. If you can't sit in Padmasan or Adda Padmasan, you can sit in Sukhasan also. Roll your shoulder back and join your palm above the head. And raise yourself from the hip. Raise yourself from the hip. Completely. Don't just sit like, like this. Raise yourself as if someone is pulling you from up. Okay? One child. Bicep stretching your ear. Join the palm fully. Do not hook your thumb. Palm. Join the palm fully without hooking your thumb. Down. Slowly. Now sit in Vajrasan. Sit in Vajrasan. If you can, interlock your hands, raise your hand up and go up from your hip, go up. Stretch yourself upward. Stay. Right, Vijay, are you okay? Now sit in. But the Konasan position, feet together. Try to bring the feet as much as towards you. Sit erect. Slowly join the palm above the head. Join the palm above the head. Sit here for one time. Now come into standing position. Two and a half feet to feet is two to two and a half feet distance between the leg. According to your height, you can increase the distance. We are going into by, by the flow. We will not break our position. We'll go one after one in the uh, position without breaking our leg position. 90 degree. So right 90. Turn your feet to the uh, to your right side. Left feet towards the right, thirty degree. Okay. Now your tendency of our stomach is to go like this. Bring it in front, hands shoulder high, and slowly go down. Here, be careful that your uh, knee should not cross your toe finger like this. Knee to your ankle perpendicular, thighs parallel to the floor. It's okay if your thighs are not going down parallel, but knee should not cross your toe finger. And look at your right hand finger. One one chant will go one after one into the position without breaking the leg position. Increase the distance, lean and go down. Increase the distance between the legs. 
so that you can go properly into the position. Do not like upper body straight. Keep your upper body straight. Then up. Now turn your left leg. Ninety degree B and go down. Look at your left hand finger. Inhale up. Again, right ninety, left thirty. Turn to the right. Join your palm and slowly go up. Look at your upper finger. Hands in front of you. Hands to the side. Turn to the left. Now left ninety, right thirty. Join the palm and as you exhale, go down and look at your upper finger. Hands in front of you, hands to the side. Now, again, right ninety, left thirty. Take your hand and put it on your thighs. Paraswa konasan, head to toe slanting pose. Do not. <coughs> Bend your head. Straight. Hands should be straight. Touching your biceps, uh, Rinaldi. Yes. Very good. Very good. Stay here. Paraswa Konasan. Inhale up. Left leg 90. Right 30. Go to the left side. Head to the slanting pose. Biceps sitting in here. Don't drop your head. head. Inhale up. Stay, stay in that position only. I will show you how to do Parshottanasana. Yeah, to, now we will not bend our leg. Right 90. Left 30. Okay. Turn to the right. Join your palm behind you. Now without bending the knee. Inhale. Look up. Exhaling. Go down. As much as well. Okay. If you are going like up to this, it's okay. But don't drop your head. Look in front. Look at your front wall. And go from your hip. Your body should come towards your leg, not the head. Okay? Go like this. Without bending the knee. Parshottanasan. One chant, each side. Start. Go down, go down, Pradipji. Without bending your knee, without bending your knee, knee should be straight. Yeah, it's okay if you're not going too much down. But do not bend your knee. Inhale up. Other side. Look up first. Inhale, look up. And then slowly go down. Very good. Inhale up. Lie down in Shavasana. Feet apart, hands by the side, palm facing upward. 
relax your legs, relax your thighs, relax your groins, relax your hip, relax your abdomen, relax your chest, relax your both the shoulder, relax your arms, Relax your neck, drop your jaw, relax all your facial muscles, relax yourself completely, relax your top of the head, relax your back of the head, relax your spine, relax yourself completely. Your whole body is relaxing now. Your whole body is relaxed. The only movement possible is of your abdomen. Inhale, your abdomen goes up. As you exhale, your abdomen goes down. Be aware of this movement. Inhaling, abdomen up. Exhale, abdomen down. And slowly bring your awareness towards your heart. Listen to the heartbeats carefully. The only music in your body is your heartbeat now. Bring your feet together. Stretch your hand above the head. Stretch your feet downward. Stretch yourself completely. Stretch, 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 stretch. Relax. Turn to the right and come into the sitting position. We'll do five rounds of Brahmari. First, Brahmari Pranaya. In Sanmukhi Mudra. Little finger under your uh, under the lip. Index uh, ring finger, both your nose field. Middle finger on your, uh, sorry. Index finger, upper lip. Middle finger, both. Put your index finger on your eyes and thumb on your earbuds. Inhale and while exhaling, um, uh, humming sound. Five rounds. Mm 
Now we'll do one bandha, ubiyan bandha, which is good for our, again, with our subject, post and two. We'll do ubiyan bandha. First, I will show you. Afterwards, you can do it. Both the hands, palm facing downward on your knees. Inhale first. Then exhale fully with your mouth. Come forward, okay? Your stomach will go back after exhalation. Pull your diaphragm up. And hold here after exhalation. Hold here. Stomach back, diaphragm up. Hold as much as possible. Then release the bandha first and then inhale. Do it for three times. I will show you again first fully and then you do. Inhale. Three rounds of Uriyan Bandha. Start. Inhale first. Exhale. Come up. Hold here. Hold as much as possible. Now release the Bandha. Inhale. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Pull the diaphragm up, hold. Release, inhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Pull the diaphragm up, hold. Release and inhale. Omkar, hands in Dhanu Mudra, spine erect, head spread, close your eyes, inhale and while exhaling, Omkar three times. Join your palm for prayer. Asatoma Sadgamaya Kamasoma Jotir Gamaya Mrutyurma Amrutam Gamaya Rub your palm, keep it on your eyes. Interlock your fingers. Inhale up. Exhaling bend to the side. Inhale up. 
exhaling. Inhale up, hands by the side. Up in Parvatasana. Exhaling Sharanagat Mudra. Inhale up, hands by the side. On your toes, feet together, toes together, heel together. Keeping your heels together, Rukshasan. Inhale up, exhaling down, Hari Om. Hari Om.